that controller can only mean one thing, it's time to play the Atari 2600 Junior Commando Raid for the Atari 2600. Look at that. Have a little uh, caption right there, we have the uh, nice fancy looking label, US Games. And check this out. It says, see instructions for details, use with the left joystick controller. So apparently on Commando Raid, if you actually select color or black and white on here, it actually doesn't change color to black and white as far as I know. As far as I read online, it actually switches between manual fire and automatic fire. If you put it on black and white, it's automatic fire and color is actually manual fire, which I had no idea that would be a thing. I thought that would actually switch the color back and forth, but apparently it doesn't. And there's a few other things you can switch between, uh, like in the back, there's a few switches back here. Uh, there's ways of setting it so you have straight bullets, steerable, missiles, no bombers, bombers. And, uh, in the game itself, if you shoot down the helicopters, you get 200 points. If you shoot down commando paratroopers, you get about 115 points. And every uh, 10,000 points, you're actually able to rebuild the buildings that are destroyed by your enemy. Now, how easy is it to get 10,000 points? Let's find out. Alright, here we are playing Commando Raid for the Atari 2600. I'm playing on the Atari 2600 Junior. And as you can see here, you have a fancy looking, uh, it's like a sunset. We have what appears to what the hell? Oh, wait, it appears to be a tank in the center of the screen right there, and you have buildings on each side. So let's uh see what we do here. All right, looks like we have a tank. Okay, that was uh, I shot something out right there. Oh crap! What the hell's going on here? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I shot a helicopter. That's crazy. Oh, you shoot people. Yeah, take that, you son of a bitch. Yeah, this game's pretty cool so far. Let's shoot a bunch of things. You're a tank. You really, you're stationary. You don't move. But yeah, I think you have to prevent these guys from landing inside the village here. Or your city. They're taking over. Yeah, a lot of the games back then had the same concept, but with different themed uh, graphics. So, yeah, this game's probably similar to, uh, I don't know, Galaga, Space Invaders, whatever you want to compare it to. I'm pretty sure there was a game back then that was pretty similar to this. But, yeah, this game is, so far, not bad. It's actually pretty fun to play. And uh, back in the 80s, this was like your typical uh, thing that you would see in the arcade back then. Nothing really fancy. Uh, the 2600 version of... The arcade games were often uh, much uglier looking, like very simplistic, nothing fancy. Uh, the game itself, I believe I just got defeated. Got 3,045 points, but the game does appear to be pretty fun. And I believe this is where you have to hit the reset button right here. And you have to start over. So here we are, starting over. See what happens here. And here comes the choppers. Alright, you have to shoot these, uh... At the uh, city area, they actually cause problems. It's not good. Might be best just to shoot the helicopter. I guess we can kind of consider this an early tower defense game, to a certain extent. But you're by yourself. You have to defend your, uh... Basically, you're basically the only one defending the whole two cities over here. I believe that this game released in 82, if not mistaken. I would have to look that up for sure, but... Yeah. There was a lot of pretty decent games that released during that time. The, uh, I believe the Atari came out originally in 77 or 78. Uh, it was... Had a pretty long life cycle. See, I think the last batch of Atari games released in the early 90s, which is kind of weird, but it lasted much longer than 
you know, your normal average console from today. I do uh, like the graphics in this game. I like the sky. It has the uh, yellow, the orange, you know, the typical Atari graphics that you would usually see, but it looks really nice. For a console back then, it's actually pretty cool. What the hell's going on here? They're building like a tunnel underground, and that's it. They're connected. I guess that means you're done. Got a higher score that time. And that would be Commando Raid on the Atari 2600 Junior. It's actually a pretty good game. It's not bad. Uh, this is definitely not a review. It's just a quick play for the most part. Uh, yeah, it takes you right back down memory lane. What an awesome game. Now, if you have any uh, ideas for our next episode, or future episodes, just let me know down below. I'll potentially be uh, also recording other consoles. Uh, we're starting off with this console first, because it's a pain in the ass to hook up. Have to use a VCR and all kinds of stuff, but yeah, it's actually pretty cool. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more, do the same.